Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the roll. Good day, children. I'm here this moment to take us on agricultural science. My name is Mrs. Inhe Kwaba Oluchi. I am to cover the junior primary. The topic of my lesson this time is Tuba crops. Everybody repeat after me. Tuba crops. Before I continue with today's topic, I want to take you back to what we learned previously. We discussed uses of grain crops. And I know you have not forgotten the uses of grain crops, which include that they serve as food for man and animal. They also produce, uh, they are used to produce flour. They are also source of income and they are used to prepare wine. They are used for wine formation. These are some of the uses of grain crops, which Lead us today to the topic that says, as I have mentioned, to bar crops. What is a tuba crop? Before you know what tuba crops are, you must first of all know our objective today. Our objective are, number one, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to explain what a tuber crop is. Number two objective is that you should also be able to give us examples of tuber crops. You will also identify the parts of the tuba crops and answer the questions that will be given to you. Let's get into the lesson. What a tuba crop is. Tuba crops are crops with swollen underground stems and roots. They are crops with swollen underground stems and roots. In their roots, they are swollen, their size increases. In their stem, their size increases. They are called tuber crops. I know some of you have seen some of the crops that your parents bring home when they go to the farm. Some of you have seen them. You can be able to mention some of them. So, these tuber crops are the major source of carbohydrates. The stem and the root store the carbohydrates needed for man and animal. Now let us look at some of the examples of these tuber crops. 
We have them as yam. Many of you have seen yam. You are eating it. Your parents do peel them, prepare it, porridge or stew or jollof with uh, beans. You have been eating yam. Yam is one good example of tuba crop. Another one is cocoa yam. Some of you may not know what cocoa yam is, but cocoa yam is there. It's one of the examples of tuba crop. We also have cassava. Cassava, which is used to prepare so many things. With cassava, you can prepare tapioca, you can prepare gare, fufu, name them. Cassava, you have seen them. Even if you have not, follow your mommy to the farm. This time we have COVID-19 and you have been hearing that you should go to the farm. When you go there, your mommy will show you or daddy will show you what cassava is. Another example of tuber crop is carrots and potato. This potato could be Irish. It could be sweet. Potato. All these are examples of tuber crop. I want you to look at this. This is an example of tuber crop. If you look at this, you identify that this one is cassava. Cassava with its parts. This cassava had three parts. It has three parts. The first part of it is the leaf. The other part of it is the stem. And the other part of it is the tuba. This is a typical example of tuba crop. Remember that Tuba crop is one of the crops we have in life. They are very necessary. Carbohydrates gives you strength. So it is important to have it around us. Remember that Irish and sweet potato is also a a type of tuba crop. Remember that carrot is there as one of the examples. Children, I know as you are there watching, you are driving a lot from this. This will help you to know which is which. As you have learned your grand you are today learning your tuba crop. All these are very, very useful and important. I don't want to bombard you with so many explanations. I want to come to conclusion by reminding you that tuba crop is a crop that has swollen in the stem or the roots, which supplies you, which is a source of carbohydrates. I will also remind you that these carbohydrates are stored in the roots and the stem of the tuber crops. Children, do you have any question to ask. Is there any aspect of the exa explanation that you did not understand? If you have any question, give it to me through the WhatsApp. I will answer the question. But then I have my own questions. Can I bring, are you ready to receive my questions? I can hear somebody say yes, auntie. I know you are much ready to receive my questions. Okay. I am going to 
put the questions on the chalkboard for you to answer and forward the answer for me. Tuba crop. It's true I did not write the tuba crop. Let me put it down before your questions. Let me put the, the explanation of tuba crop before the hair. Tuba crops. Okay. Examples are yam, Evaluation. Yes, I have come to the conclusion of the lesson. But remember that these are the questions. Number one question is, what are tuba crops? Number two question is, list three examples of tuba crops. Number three question is, state the three parts of a cassava crop. I remain your agri-teacher in the lower primary, Mrs. Inhe Kwaba Oluchi. I want you to stay safe until next time. Thank you very much. <laughs>